Okay, hi everybody. Um, this video is about uh, UFOs not being credible. Um, far too often, I'm hearing from people that there's there's no evidence, no credibility. It's all just hearsay, and that's what I have decided to make this video about. So not credible, eh? So here's uh, here's what I have to say about that. Okay, so what about the astronauts? Buzz Aldrin, who was the second man to walk on the moon. Edgar Mitchell, who was also the sixth man to walk on the moon. And Gordon Cooper, who was the first person to sleep in Earth's orbit. These people aren't credible. They're fucking astronauts. I think that gives them credibility. Also, not only astronauts, but government and military officials, pilots and radar technicians have also come forward. Uh, a lot of this stuff isn't just things that I have read online. I have books on this stuff. Uh, this I highly recommend uh, you people read. Um, the Disclosure Project. Uh, you could buy this online at uh, it's like the I don't know, just Google Dis Disclosure Project, and you'll be able to find their website. I bought this from from their website, and uh, this has I'm not going to go into detail of the government people, but this this book uh, I don't know, it's at it's about five. 567 pages long, so it's uh, full of information, uh, all of with uh, eyewitness testimony and their accounts of what is actually going on in the government. And when it comes to pilots, I have a book just on pilots, and it uh, includes their names. A lot of the people are really putting themselves on the line here, but uh, pilots have seen these things really up close uh, with portholes, with windows in them. Uh, so close up with such detail that it's not just a weather phenomenon such as ball lightning because they actually have a physical a physical shape you know like they're not just ball lightning where it's just like a ball of light they've seen them up close and they have structure to them um, so yeah and radar technicians as I already said okay uh, now people can hallucinate Radar can't, okay? If a little beep comes up on a little blimp comes up on a radar, that means that something is physically there, okay? Uh, so yeah, not to mention that the Mexican government has already released UFO footage to the public that was filmed with state-of-the-art military equipment. This was also in cooperation with the military eyewitness accounts. Yeah, you can, any of the stuff that I'm stating, you can Google it. Uh, I'll even provide links in the description box below so that uh, it'll make your research a little bit more easier if you uh, choose to research it. Um, the British government also released uh, and disclosed its UFO files and can be downloaded online for free. There are thousands of pages, literally, which even include sketches of the disc-like craft even including their occupants. Yes, and I'll provide links for that as well. Um, okay, so a lot of people say, well, what about scientific studies, you know, because all these people could just be lying. It's just their words, you know. People could say anything. And I just want to say that uh, the people coming forward are really putting themselves on the line for criticism, and I commend them for their courage. And I only wish that more people with such knowledge would grow a spine and stop being such cowards. But what about what about the physical proof? You know, like what's tangible? Like what 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 could we physically obtain from all of this? And if people all over the planet are getting alien implants put inside of them, wouldn't there be some kind of study to prove or disprove this? Well, in fact, there has been studies which have proven this to be true. Dr. Roger Lear, who is a surgeon in podiatry, was asked by one of his patients to remove an alien implant. He agreed to do so and was amazed at what he obtained. The implant was sent to many labs for metallurgic testing, and it clearly showed that they were meteorites. Wait, meteorites? In fact, not even normal meteorites. They were so rare, in fact, that only a few had ever been found. And apparently, this is from Dr. Roger Lear's words, 
There was no point of entry, no scar, no inflammatory response as your body should have to a foreign object being inside of it. Even weirder was that Dr. Roger Lear stated that the implant was covered in a nerve receptor membrane, which was in fact connected and binded to our nerve. Scanning electron microscope analysis also showed that the implant appeared to have been manufactured and machined. Now, just from that, like, doesn't that make you just kind of scratch your head with the, like, they sent this, me, they sent these implants to laboratories, and these labs had no idea, like, what this was from. They didn't know it was from someone's body. They just received a little teeny fragment of it, and they said it was a meteorite. So you're telling me that this person, I think he had it somewhere in his jaw, he got hit by a meteor, a meteorite, sorry, in his, in his jaw, didn't notice, there's no scar, and then this meteorite also happens to have been machined, and is surrounded in a nerve receptor membrane, which is bound to our nerve receptor membrane. No, I'm sorry, but if you don't think that that is just a little bit odd, then there's something wrong with you, okay? Because, to me, that just is a smoking gun. Um, also, a piece of Roswell debris was apparently tested, and the weirdest thing was that the tests it underwent did nothing but back up the case with more evidence. The debris was found to have isotopic ratios that clearly showed that it was of alien origin. More tests were done, and the same conclusions were made. Now, when I see on TV and I see on YouTube videos people bashing this kind of stuff and saying that there's nothing credible and that it's all just text and like, what are we going to find in an article, you know? Because, yeah, you're right. A lot of that stuff, if it's just text, could be bullshit, could be totally made up. But if you're looking at government files, you're looking at videos of people that are testifying under oath that they've experienced all this kind of stuff that uh, I think they deserve uh, I think they deserve some uh, you know some encouragement I don't think that so many people should be on their case about this stuff because obviously it's going to take something that um, you know takes a lot of effort to come forward with you know so, um, yeah, there is a lot more that I could say. Um, this is just a very summed up version. And uh, there's many other perspectives. You could go into the, the biblical. <clears throat> and I'm not, I'm not going to go into that with this video. Because this is more just about uh, the credibility, okay? So what was that? We had astronauts, military officials, government officials, pilots, radar technicians, the British government scientific analysis done on implants in people's bodies showing that it was a meteorite, Roswell debris that showed that it had isotopic ratios that were completely of alien origin that could not be found on Earth. What, is, what does that lead you to think, you know? Um, I'll leave that at that. And uh, today is... Let's see what today is. It is October the 14th. Uh, 2011, and it is Friday. Happy Friday, everybody. Enjoy your weekend, and uh, yeah, keep searching for the truth, because it's, uh, it's here. Okay, bye.